How's it going guys, it's Kevin, and today I wanted to talk to you guys about how I transitioned from being a software engineer at Amazon to being a software engineer at Google. And more specifically, one of the things I wanted to talk about is how I actually decided to join Google as opposed to other companies. So I didn't really tell a lot of people about this, and I feel like I don't generally discuss this with too many people anyways, but when I actually was considering joining Google, that was not the only company that I had an offer from. One of the other companies I actually had an offer from was Uber. So I want to talk a little bit about why I actually decided to join Google instead of another company like Uber. And I think by doing this, it will sort of give you guys not only those reasons why I decided to join Google over Uber, but I also think it'll give you guys some good insights as to things that you should consider or ways you can consider different offers if you're deciding to leave the company you're currently at. So the first thing I want to say, just as a quick disclaimer for this video, is there's nothing wrong with Uber. I had no problems with Uber. I actually really, really enjoyed their interview process, the people that I spoke to, the questions that they asked me, and the manager that I would have worked under at Uber Eats. I'm strictly making this video because I think it'll be informative, interesting, and helpful for you guys going forward for your careers. So in the spirit of being transparent and trying to help you guys make the best decision, I wanted to discuss basically the three different things that I decided would probably make more sense to go to Google at this point in my career, as opposed to a company like Uber. And so this is probably top of mind for a lot of people, but I think timing played a lot into this decision. And I think one of the reasons why I decided to ultimately go with Google over Uber was just the fact that there was less stability, at least in my opinion, going to a company like Uber. No one is a stranger to the fact that we have all been going through a global pandemic, and I think Uber Uber was really in the thick of it, so to speak. I do think that their product offering was very much not conducive to what we were going through. Probably, as you can guess, I don't think Uber is necessarily the most stable company in this exact moment. I do think that even though Uber is an awesome company with super cool products, I do think that just the fact that we're going through a global pandemic currently did not really mesh well with the fact that I wanted stability in a company. And even though I was going to be working for a company or a product offering within Uber like Uber Eats, I do think that you could argue that more people are ordering food, more people are staying home, they need groceries, they need things from a convenience store, which I think was what sort of Uber was expanding into. I do think that it sort of pales in comparison when you think about a company like Google. I think Google has a lot more capital, I think they have a lot more employees, and I think they have a lot more products that could hopefully survive a pandemic like COVID-19. To add to this, I actually also had a friend who had recently left Uber, and he was telling me a lot about the layoffs that had been happening, and how he also had decided to jump ship because he didn't want to worry about his job. Coincidentally, he also ended up going to Google. That's just a small, interesting fact. <laughs> So for me, after hearing about these layoffs and also just the nature of the world, when I had that offer from Uber, I decided that they were not nearly as stable as a company like Google. And that was sort of one thing that I definitely considered and valued when changing companies. The next thing that I really thought about and considered was I wanted to be able to stay at this next company for a long period of time. I had been doing a lot of interviews the past few years of coming out of college, and I was sort of over that. And I really didn't want to do any more interviews, especially knowing that what tech interviews involve and how tiring they are and how involved they are. That was not a process that I was looking forward to going through anytime soon. And so the next thing that I really thought about and really valued in my job search was mobility. And again, not mobility in terms of changing from company A to company B, but really from changing from product A to product B within a company. And so again, just as we talked about, Uber doesn't have nearly as many offerings as Google, as far as I know, in terms of products. And so for me, I really thought that even if I went to a company like Google and I worked on one product for a year, two years, three years, and then eventually I felt like I was either stagnating technically or I was getting bored in the product area or I didn't like anything that was going on, it's pretty easy to sort of internally transfer from one product to another. And so I felt like if I had tried to do that at Uber, well, it's still possible, right? I could move from sort of like ride sharing to something like Uber Eats, I guess, or I can move from like one part of the stack to another, like maybe I'm doing ride matching and then I move to doing payment processing, which I'm sure is also possible. You're still sort of in the same exact ecosystem, right? You're not sort of moving from one entire product area to another entire product area. And that's something I thought would be really valuable in the next company that I was going to decide to go to, right? Because I wanted to be able to stay at that company for an extended period of time if I chose to. And so if I ever got bored of the product or I didn't want to be in that product anymore, I wanted to just try something totally new for whatever reason. I do think that that was something that I was going to be able to do at a place like Google, really just because of how much larger they are and how many products they currently offer today. So if I ever got bored, I figured I'd be able to move from a product in Google easily to another product within Google that was totally unrelated. Whereas Uber, it's way, way more tightly knit, I think. You can move from something like ride sharing to Uber Eats. I think the third and final thing that really made me want to work at Google instead of Uber was just more of a personal decision. And that was just the fact that Google was always a company that I wanted to work at. Plain and simple. That was always a goal that I had set for myself. That was always a company that I wanted to explore and be a part of at some point in my career. And past that, I always knew that I wanted to be my own boss. And so eventually I knew that 
And I always thought it would be right after Google that I would sort of decide to go and do my own thing, be my own boss, and ultimately be able to decide what day is a Monday and what day is a Saturday. And as ridiculous as that made sound, that was sort of the thing that I had envisioned in my head. And I wanted to be able to check that off my checklist so that I could hopefully advance closer and closer to that goal of doing whatever I want to do every day. And so for me, I always felt like if I actually ended up choosing Uber over Google, I always felt like I'd still have to make that last stop at Google before I ended up going and working for myself. And that might sound silly, but I think I would always wonder what it would have been like if I actually decided to go to Uber first. I think I, again, would have had to make that stop first to Google before going. And so I felt like by doing that and by incurring that extra cost, it wasn't really worth it. I felt like I would always kick myself and wonder what it'd be like. And then eventually I would have to go and do it before I was able to actually go and do what I really wanted to do. And so I felt like that would sort of slow down my timeline. And that was something that I would have to make an extra stop for, which I wasn't sure if that's something I was okay with. All right, guys, so those are the three things that I really tried to consider when I was moving from Amazon to my next company. And again, those three things were mobility, stability, and then just achieving a personal goal. And then ultimately, I think those three things sort of all went to the side of Google, which is ultimately what made me join them as a software engineer. If you guys enjoyed this video, do me a favor and leave the video a like and subscribe to the channel for more. And I'll see you guys next time.